hunting for a new PlayStation for Christmas or an Xbox Series, Series 10? Good luck. The bots got there first, and that left nothing behind but empty shelves and record high spending. Video game hardware sales are up 58% just last month, driven by Sony and Microsoft launches. That from the market research firm NPD. And if you're still on the hunt, how can you make it happen? <laughs> There's a way. Here's NBC's Liz McLaughlin. The last console releases in 2013 had gamers flocking to stores. We got it. Now it's a race online to get the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. Anytime anyone has had any in stock for even a minute, they've sold out immediately. Hard to get because of record demand for an upgrade after seven years. And more Americans passing time at home due to the pandemic now classify themselves as gamers. My first, I wanted the PS5, but out of luck. Some have had luck following retailers on social media to get restock updates. It's pretty hit or miss. I would say more miss than hit is what it feels like to me. Retailers say they're battling bots that are quickly buying up stock to post on resale sites, which is one way to get your hands on a new console. I don't think a lot of folks are particularly interested in spending $1,000 on a new PlayStation. Manufacturers anticipate more stock by spring. Meanwhile, some holiday shoppers need to consider alternatives. A gaming laptop could make it possible to play new games without the newest consoles. Or the Nintendo Switch from three years ago, now back in stock at major retailers. Mobile subscription services such as Apple Arcade are another option. It's sort of like Netflix where if you pay a couple of dollars per month, you have access to kind of a library of games. Turn around. Ways for gamers to avoid potential holiday disappointment. For the news, I'm Liz McLaughlin. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.